Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about sharing the gospel and motivating you as to how you can share the gospel and what you can do um, when you want to share the gospel or and you're scared or there's just something holding you back. And I'm going to be giving you some motivation for that. But before I do, like always, I want to encourage you to go down to the comment section of all my videos, of any of my videos. For example, in this video titled, This Man Died in the Emergency Room and He Went to Heaven. Um, if you just scroll down to the comment section, you'll see that I posted a long comment that has lots of evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you to read this, read, read the evidence. And I also want you guys to spread this. You can copy paste it, post it on social media, or you can print it out and give it to people. And to get the printable version of this comment, of this evidence comment, I made a video about this where I have a link to a Dropbox link to a printable version. All you got to do is just click on the link and save the file and you can print it pretty much. So I made a video about that so you can find that on my channel. Also in the description box of all my videos I have a message about end times, fulfilled Bible prophecy, things like that. So read that also if you're interested. Now getting on to the video. Um, so, yeah, guys, I want to make this a serious video and I want to talk to you about sharing the gospel and just reaching souls because in these times we need as many people evangelizing as evangelizing. So, and I mean, like the Bible says, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are a few. And when you come across someone and the Holy Spirit puts it in your heart to reach out to that person to share the gospel, please be, I, I want to encourage you guys to be be obedient and share the gospel with that person because their salvation could be on the line. That could be the difference between that person, you sharing the gospel with them and they coming to Christ or repenting or having faith or converting to Christianity. I mean, that could be the difference between someone getting raptured or not, someone going to heaven or not. So there's there's people that we come across in our life and and God will put it in our hearts to share the gospel. And if we're not obedient, I mean, God wants us to be obedient. And I know sometimes it's hard. I know sometimes we're, we're in like a situation where, where we feel like uncomfortable or, or the enemy, the demons, they'll try to discourage us and they'll try to put thoughts into our minds that, oh no, don't share the gospel. It's, you're going to be embarrassed. You're going to be ashamed. Everything is going to turn out bad and it's, it's going to be a disaster. The enemy might try to put thoughts like that into your mind, but please don't listen to the enemy. Listen, listen to God's spirit and share the gospel with people. Pray for the people. And yeah, we are called as Christians, we are called to evangelize. And I mean, when you were saved, how great did that feel? When you were saved, you accepted Jesus Christ into your heart. I mean, how great did that feel? And you were born again. Don't you want other people to have that same feeling? Don't you want other people to join you in heaven? And don't you want heavenly rewards? The Bible speaks about rewards. So even if you even if you don't care about people going to heaven or not, just think of it that if you share with people and you bring people to Christ, God will reward you for that. So think about that. I mean, it's not we can't just we can't just be selfish just thinking about ourselves we also have to think about other people because other people need Christ as much as we do and they don't even know it so if you know that they need Christ if you know God is putting it in your spirit to share with them why wouldn't you so that's what I, I want to encourage you guys I mean I understand I've been in some like uncomfortable situations where like um I thought that um like it was going to be awkward or weird if I share the gospel but at the end it turned out it turned out perfectly fine so at least your job is or I should say our job as Christians is to share the gospel that's that's pretty much share the gospel give people evidence for Christianity tell them about Jesus and pray for the person the rest put it in God's hands after you've done all you can do just put your faith in God put your trust in God and pray that God use you more and to reach more people and pray for the people that you reach that God will soften their hearts, that God will open up their eyes, God will open up their ears, God give them, will give them an ear to hear and and also pray that, I, 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 I pray this also, I pray that God, that God remove all the demons that have the unsaved person bound 
So when I'm preaching to someone that the enemy might not try to try to distract the person, that they'll be demon free, they'll have a clean mind with a clean conscience and pray that also. That's very important. And like I'm saying, like I said, um, just reach people because that's what we're, we're called. We're, that's what we are called to do. And that's what we should do. We are soldiers of Christ. We are servants of Christ. We are we are servants of the Almighty and and pray that God put you in certain situations so that you can share the gospel. You can reach the lost. And, and remember, people's salvations are on the line. We should show people love. We should tell them about Jesus and we should bring in the harvest. So that's what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. Thank you for listening. All glory to God like always.